And today's review was brought to you by the awesome guys at Comic Toys. And it is Transformers Generations Sandstorm. I have been after this guy since I saw that mincy wincy tiny pick on the Metroplex box. This is from the 30th anniversary series. And oh my, you people need this in your collection. You got a nice little bio there. And of course, this is in fact based on the IDW, there we go, IDW Comics. This is in Zero Two series and Zero Three figure. There's his picture there. That is a fantastic drawing. Whoop. Out of the box, uh, officially, he's meant to have this uh, big chunky monkey up at the back, um, which is almost reminiscent of his little hat kind of hood thing he had in the Generation 1 cartoon and toy. Um, yeah, let's quickly flip that round, getting that out of the way. And these big, huge hover wheel wing things, they can fold backwards. And so they're a little less intrusive. Oh, he is a very, very well sculpted figure. I tell you what, Hasbro, I, I always moan about Hasbro. I mean, you know me, I am Captain Third Party all the way. But they have really been pulling out the stops with these. I mean, this is a remold of Springer. And... He really, you are hard pressed to see the similarities. They have done a stonking job. They really have. I mean, light by being, in the words of Mr. Thew. Um, I was a bit concerned he had monkey hands, but no. They fold outwards and are perfectly fine. He is in abundance of silly, silly articulation. He, everything moves. Uh, he's got legs, knees. Does the, does the waist move? Uh, he says. Yes, yes it does. It was just a bit stiff. He's got full jointed shoulders there. Elbows, swivels and a noddy head that goes up and down. And You can strike some pretty awesome poses with this guy. Yeah, they're quite rally. They annoy me a little bit. Um, just wish you had some sort of like stand with him. Ratley McRatley's never going to make it as a ninja, is he? <laughs> yeah, he needs to stand so he can pull off some super flight poses. Right, let's get him transformed. Flip this up. You want to put the hands inside there. You want to unpeg this and fold it down like so. And then lift the chest up and fold his head through like so, poking it into the huddle in his chest. We can then go down to his feet and lock those together. Um, fold the knee pads down and we're going to try and line these legs up. Uh, with a tab. There's a tab on the bottom of the foot and there's a tab around the knee area. Let's see if we can... Are they there? Just push together. And push and hope, push and hope, push and hope. There we go. That's all fastened in securely. And you can just display those like so. Come around here and fold this section back. And that should, there's a couple of tabs on there. That can tab in there, like so. Oh, it's coming together. Uh, then we can plug those in there. Aha, uh -huh, there we go. One sandstormy helicopter. <laughs> Oh, that's good. Is it bad that I think he does the helicopter mode better than Springer? Should I think that? I mean, Springer was good. He was a really good helicopter. But, oh man, there's just a little something about Sandstorm that just... Oh, mine keeps, I keep unpegging on there. I don't know if it's how I'm holding it or if I'm cack-handed or... But, yeah, something about his... It's made it just, oh, I don't know, really does not for me. The gun can obviously peg in underneath like it did with Sans, uh, with um, Springers. Uh, I have no idea how that goes on. 
Um, I'm probably missing something blatantly obvious. <laughs> but anyway, let's get him into car mode. You can, in fact, do this very quickly from... Uh, yeah, from his helicopter mode, so just pull these bits forward, just keep them out the front here for now to keep them out of the way. Come around here, let's sort out these hands. You want to open this bit and lift it up like so. Let's just get here so I can show it all on the camera. This bit up here, and just flip this piece out so it locks into place. So you're left with something that looks like this. Then you can fold this bit round, and there we go, forming the outer shell of the car there we go we are getting there this section here folds back on a hinge plugs in nicely on there there we go fold these sections in and do the same with this side just to get everything in tabbed and out of the way this actually tabs a lot easier and uh, more securely than Springer um, let's open these feet and then you want to fold them round on themselves there we go and do the same with this side. Again, they peg in securely, plug them in together. There we go. We can then fold the wheels round. And there's actually a peg. If I can get this on camera. Is it going to go in first time? No. There's a peg uh, on there that plugs in directly into the wheel. Yeah, I've lined it up this time. There we go. See, that's in. And yeah, that's everything tabbed in there. There's a tab there, tab there. You can then fold these down and they make kind of armoured, twisted metal <laughs> windscreen covers. And, oh, oh, I am digging the big chunky tyres. This is one extreme dune buggy. It really is. Oh, I really, really like this. It's very... Oh, they've used their initiative. They really have. Let's... um. This should, the weapon, should plug in really, really deeply, deep, on top there. There, so we can strike a pose. This is... Oh, I don't want to like it more than Spring, I really don't, but I do! <laughs> I really do like this more than Springer. Both are fan amazing figures. This is just, oh, there's just something about, it, it really is something from like Mad Max, isn't it? And can I push a fourth mode? Will I get away with kind of wheelchair mode? <laughs> Probably not. Um, I don't think that's an official transformation, is it? But you don't know. We need a medic. Medic! Um, this is by far my favourite figure released uh, in this anniversary series. Don't get me wrong, I adore Springer. He is pride of my Wreckers collection, but these two stood together. There's a lot more... <laughs> I don't know, they, they don't look the same. I know there are some similarities, but that, how... They've done an amazing job. Bravo, Hasbro, bravo. I am lost for words, and uh, for me to be lost for words, that in itself is a miracle. Thanks for watching, guys. Until next time, goodbye.